Today, we're going to be reviewing Alex Earl's skincare recommendations during her Accutane treatment. She talked about this in a recent video. So we're going to look at the products that she's using, the additional products that are on her Amazon storefront. And I'm going to tell you what a dermatologist actually thinks about these products, if they're good or bad. I'm Dr. Dustin, a board certified dermatologist, and I'm here to help you be healthy inside and out. So if you want to be as beautiful as you can and healthy, then make sure you hit that follow button. Now, we're going to look at this video first and see why she is using specific products and then we're going to go more in depth on the ingredients and I'm going to give you a thumbs up or thumbs down on if these products are actually any good. Okay, it's obviously not perfect yet, but I have seen a ton of improvement. The only side effect I have is super dry lips and like I'm starting to like crack around here. So for dry lips and face, I use this bag bomb because it was made for like cow udders, I think. So it's really, really strong. And then this chapstick called Dr. Cordobom. I have a little Accutane acne list in my Amazon for all of these products. Okay, so we get to see the exact products that she's using here. The main side effect that she's experiencing is a little dryness around the mouth and around the lips. If you want a more in-depth conversation about the side effects of Accutane and the rest of her experience on Accutane, that was posted on my last video. You can check that out by clicking on the link here in the upper corner of the video. So she talks first about bag balm as a treatment for the dry lips and the dry skin, uh, both on the face and off the face. So bag balm has been around forever and people who love it, love it. This like goes in families. I know that my grandparents had it at their house, but it did not make it into my generation. Now bag balm is not a bad product. People uh, do quite well with it. It can work really well for dry skin. But again, it's not my favorite for Accutane. The ingredients in it, we're going to break these down. First, petrolatum. This is something that is a great occlusive for the skin. So it prevents water loss and allows your skin to kind of heal from the inside. Petrolatum is used in many different products, including plain Vaseline, in Aquaphor, and in CeraVe healing ointment. So I do highly recommend petrolatum. I think it's a great ingredient. Now, the other ingredient here is lanolin. Lanolin is also very common in aquaphor. Lanolin comes from sheep's wool. And so because of that, this is not a vegan product, but it is a vegetarian product. It doesn't hurt the sheep in any way when they're harvesting that lanolin. So lanolin is a great emollient for the skin. A very small percentage of people will be allergic to lanolin, but it's not very common. Just be aware of that, that if you're using aquaphor or bag balm and your skin is getting worse, it could be the lanolin. So no problems with petrolatum or lanolin here. Then we have paraffin wax. This is really an inert ingredient and again, is going to prevent a lot of transepidermal water loss or losing water through the skin, which will make you drier, which will make you more itchy. So again, first three ingredients, loving them. Now here's where it gets a little bit controversial. The next ingredient is 8-hydroxyquinolone sulfate. Now this is kind of an antiseptic. It helps prevent the growth of bacteria inside the canister and on your skin. This is a coal tar derivative. Now that may sound scary being from coal tar, but in general, it's very safe. This is a safe ingredient, but it has a very strong odor to it. This has a very medicinal quality smell. And so that's what gives bag balm its distinct odor odor. Now, some people just won't like that. They won't tolerate the smell and they might find it to be a little bit irritating. The smell overall dissipates fairly quickly, but this is just not a product that I would recommend anybody use while they're on Accutane. However, if you're using it and it's working well for you, I wouldn't say stop, but if you're just going on Accutane or you're having really dry skin and you're looking for a product, I typically will recommend plain Vaseline, Aquaphor, or CeraVe healing ointment. They just don't have that strong odor to them and they wouldn't be as irritating to some people. But again, this appears to be working well for her. So, you know, bag balm is fine in that context, but not my number one pick. I wouldn't put this on my shopping list for Accutane. Now, next in her Amazon storefront, we have the Dr. Dan's Quarter Balm. So for really dry lips, this is a really great lip balm. This is a hydrating lip balm. It's going to be occlusive to prevent water loss, but its unique quality is that it has a small percentage of hydrocortisone in there. This is a very weak steroid, so it will help to decrease inflammation. It's not really enough of a steroid to cause significant thinning of the skin or anything like that. So I wouldn't worry if you use this regularly. If you're going to use a chapstick every day for the rest of your life. I don't think you need hydrocortisone, but this is great while you're on Accutane. And I give samples of this out to my patients who are taking Accutane and tell them they can buy it on Amazon. They can buy it at the store. So I do give a thumbs up to Dr. Dan's Cordobalm. Highly recommend. As we continue to go through her video and look at the other products that she's using. And then the most calming product is this Rescue Bond from Hero. You want to be super gentle with your skin. I use this even before I went on Accutane, like the month before. It feels good. It feels calming. It's not going to like burn your skin like other acne 
products. She talks about the Rescue Balm, and this is from Hero Cosmetics. The Rescue Balm is a great healing ointment to put on the skin. It is going to have a few more ingredients than something like plain Vaseline, but this is fragrance-free, and it's going to do a really good job if you have a pimple that has popped or maybe you picked at it. Don't do that. But if you do have something like that, putting a nice healing environment, occlusive type of balm on there, this is going to help to promote faster healing and hopefully decrease your risk for post-inflammatory hyperpigmentation. I do recommend this and have no problem with her using that and recommending it in her Amazon storefront. So thumbs up to the Rescue Balm from Hero Cosmetics. A couple other products that she doesn't mention in the video, but that she has on her Amazon shopping list will be the Mighty Patch. Again, this is from Hero Cosmetics. This is essentially a hydrocolloid bandage, which you can put on the skin anytime you get a pimple. Pimple patches have been hugely popular because of TikTok in the last couple of years, and you can do a basic hydrocolloid bandage, which you can purchase over the counter, or many companies are making pimple patches of one kind or another, and they all tend to be based on that hydrocolloid design. The overall idea behind it is to promote a healing environment. It helps to hydrate the wound bed a little bit, whether that pimple has popped or not, and it also helps keep your fingers off of it because we don't want you picking and popping at your pimples. So I do recommend pimple patches. I think this is a great addition if uh, you're going to be tempted to pick at your skin. Now, the next thing that she has on there is going to be the CeraVe Moisturizing Cream and the Daily Moisturizing Lotion. These are really good hydrating creams. They have, you know, essential ceramides, which are lipid molecules that your skin needs to build a healthy barrier. They have hyaluronic acid, which helps to draw water into the skin. So I highly recommend CeraVe. If you followed me on social media, TikTok or Instagram, you know that I'm a big fan of CeraVe and I've worked with their company before. I love all things CeraVe. The thing that we don't see on here, but she talks about in some of her other videos is just having gentle skincare overall. I would love to see on her shopping list that, you know, like a gentle cleanser, something that's not going to be too harsh on the skin. So a hydrating cleanser like from CeraVe would be a great option. Cetaphil makes good stuff. Neutrogena has some great options. Um, we sell one in my clinic from 208 Skin. That's a great option. So there are lots of really good hydrating gentle cleansers out there that aren't going to be stripping your skin of the excess oils because Accutane's drying up a lot of that oil anyway. So you want to keep what you have on your skin. So we don't see that. Uh, maybe a body wash or something like that that would be hydrating because your skin all over is going to get dry. Like I love Dove body wash. It tends to be pretty hydrating. You can use a La Roche-Posay face wash as a body wash in the shower. The bottles are pretty big. That could be a good option also. So that is one oversight that I don't see on her is like a cleanser and what she's doing for care of the body. Um, the other thing that I don't see on here that I would love to see on her shopping list is sunscreen. When you're taking Accutane, you are much more likely to get a sunburn. That stratum corneum or the very top layer of your skin is going to be a little thinner and the retinoid is going to make you more sensitive to the sun. You're going to be sunburned much faster, much easier. And she lives in Florida, I believe. So I definitely think she needs to have a sunscreen on her Accutane shopping list. I would highly encourage that. So other than that, I think she has great products on here. Bag Balm is my only one that I'm on the fence about. Let me know what you guys think. If you've taken Accutane, what kind of products did you use that worked well for you? And uh, maybe something that didn't work so well for you. These are my recommendations. And and you can find them on Alex's storefront. I have a lot of these on my Amazon storefront as well. Both will be linked in the video description. Thanks for watching, guys. Again, I covered all of the side effects of Accutane in the previous video. Let me know what else you guys want to see on the channel, and I'll see you next time.